द न्यू प्रधानमंत्री ई ड्राइव स्कीम फॉर ईवीज इन इंडिया अ गेम चेंजर फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स हेलो एंड वेलकम माय नेम इज अनुपम आनंद एंड यू आर वाचिंग फ्रीडम मनी इंग्लिश चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब यट प्लीज मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब एंड यस वाइल यू आर वाचिंग द वीडियो ड्रॉप योर कमेंट्स टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू द एक्साइटिंग इनिशिएटिव दैट्स सेट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द फ्यूचर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ इंडिया द प्रधानमंत्री ई ड्राइव स्कीम So with a massive budget and bold goals this scheme is the government's latest push toward a cleaner greener future whether you are an EV enthusiast a potential buyer or simply curious about how this impacts you stick around as we will break it down all for you What is the Pradhan Mantri e drive scheme what is the scheme about India is serious about accelerating the adoption of electric vehicles. Over the past decades, we have seen various schemes like FAME 1 and FAME 2 aimed at boosting EV adoption. But the new PM e-drive scheme is different. This initiative recently approved by the Union Cabinet led by Prime Minister Modi comes with a massive budget of rupees 10900 crore for the next 2 years. That's right, 10900 crore. to make evs more accessible affordable and practical for everyone in india so where is all this money going let's break it down rupees 3679 crore for subsidies on electric two wheelers three wheelers and e trucks e ambulances rupees 4391 crore to deploy 14000 plus electric buses in cities across india rupees 500 crore specifically for e trucks rupees 2000 crore to set up charging infrastructure nationwide rupees 780 crore for modernizing ev testing facilities clearly this scheme is designed to address the ev ecosystem holistically from vehicles to infrastructure now how does pm e drive help the buyers so one of the most exciting features of the pm e drive scheme is the e voucher system for buyers now here's how it works when you purchase an electric vehicle you will receive an aadhar authenticated e voucher directly on your mobile now this voucher provides an instant discount at the time of purchase so no more confusion about whether manufacturers are passing on subsidy benefits The e-voucher ensures the benefits go directly to the buyer making EVs more affordable and accessible. Focus on charging infrastructure. One of the biggest barriers to EV adoption in India has been the lack of charging infrastructure. PM e-drive addresses this with a significant focus on expanding charging facilities across the country. Now here's what planned. 22000 plus fast chargers for electric cars. 1800 plus chargers for buses 48000 chargers for two and three wheelers and these all will be installed in cities and along major highways making long distance ev travel more practical with 2000 crore allocated specifically for this range anxiety could now soon become a thing of the past I'm so sorry to cut you out from the video but yeah this is important. EVs electric vehicles are high in demand all over the world and in India as well. This could be your opportunity to become an entrepreneur or a businessman. If electric vehicles are in demand, I'm sure electric vehicle charging points are also in demand and I'm sure many of you would be interested to set up your own charging points and earn money out of it, isn't it? So this business or any other business you want to learn or you want to grow as an entrepreneur, you want to become financially free. So yeah, make sure to download the Freedom app and you get a category subscription just for 3.99. So this app doesn't just help you to learn it also helps you to earn make sure to download the app and learn everything as we all know knowledge is the most precious wealth to acquire support for public and commercial evs public and commercial transport is also getting significant boost electric buses rupees 4391 crore has been allocated to get over 14000 plus electric buses running in cities this will reduce emissions and provide cleaner public transport options e trucks rupees 500 crore is earmarked for e trucks with additional incentives for those scrapping old vehicles to upgrade to electric alternatives this push is not just about individuals evs it's about transforming how goods and people move across india reduce subsidies the catch now 
While there's plenty to be excited about, the Pradhan Mantri e-drive scheme also comes with reduced subsidies compared to FAME 2. Here's what's changing. Electric two-wheelers, subsidy reduced from 66,000 to 10,000. Three-wheelers, subsidy dropped from 1.11 lakh to 50,000. Electric buses, maximum subsidy reduced from Rs 50 lakh to 35 lakh. The government believes that as EV adoption increases and prices drop, the need for heavy subsidies will decrease. In fact, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has suggested that within two years, EV prices could match those of petrol and diesel vehicles in India. Focus on localization. So another key aspect of the Pradhan Mantri e-drive scheme is its emphasis on localization. Over 50% of EV components must be now made in India. So this is a big move to actually boost India's manufacturing sector, reduce reliance on imports, create jobs and strengthen the domestic EV supply chain, ambitious goals for EV adoption. The government has set some bold targets for EV adoption by 2025. 10% of all two-wheelers sold in India should be electric. 15% of all three-wheelers sold should be electric. This aligns with India's broader goals of reducing carbon emissions and achieving energy independence. Modernizing EV testing facilities. To keep up with the latest advancements in EV technology, the scheme also allocates Rs. 780 crore for modernizing testing facilities. Now, this will ensure that Indian EVs meet global standards for safety, performance and reliability. Now, you might ask why this matters. This isn't just about EVs. It's about transforming the way we travel, reducing India's carbon footprint. The Pradhan Mantri e-drive scheme aims to reduce dependence on fossil fuels, improve air quality in cities, and of course, support a sustainable and self-reliant automotive industry. The Pradhan Mantri e-drive scheme is a bold step toward greener, cleaner future of India. While there are challenges like reduced subsidies, the focus on localization, affordability and infrastructure makes this an exciting time for EV adoption. The new Pradhan Mantri e-drive scheme for EVs in India. A game changer for electric vehicles. Will it achieve its ambitious goals? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, India is gearing up for an electric revolution. Now if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on EVs and government policies. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.